to the everyday Christian, how important is it to uh, memorize verses in the Bible? Hi, cutie pie. Um, very, very important. I'm a busy. The Bible says, for of such is the kingdom of God. This is this is part of the prize of the joy, purity of hearts. Um, and yeah, this is this is a tad off track, but maybe this is something God wants me to do. You know, because the Bible tells us to quench not the spirit of God. You know, and and. Uh, but sometimes you need to quench the naughtiness of a child. Give me five, brother. <laughs> yeah, and the Bible says that God chastises those that he loves. And these are reasons why we need to learn the Word of God so we can be prepared in that time when uh, we need the Word of God. You want to go, Mamma? Um... We need to um, have the foundation. The Word of God is the foundation, you know. And and uh, the Lord spoke to me recently that I don't have uh, enough of the foundation of God in my life, and I I really need that. Just tell the trash can. Discipline in our lives is. Uh, very, very important to becoming a successful Christian, to becoming a successful minister, um, and especially if you have a public ministry in God. And of course, all the ministries of God are are to the um, to the for the public or to the Christian of the body of Christ. And the Bible tells us um, in the Book of Ephesians that. Um, chapter 5 that these uh, spiritual gifts the, the Apostle Paul talked about there uh, are for the edification of the body of Christ and if, if we're going to help this is what it's for um, you know some people have a prayer life and they have no memory um, recognition I knew a young man that uh, was, was started preaching and he was on fire man he was spirit filled oh my goodness you could, um, you would think you were sitting in heaven just to hear him testify but uh, uh, the thing that I noticed as he began to get older was that his testimony his sermons they never really changed and he never had much of a uh, uh, a foundation of the Word of God and um, recently I came across a false prophet um, on um, uh, YouTube and I was able to recognize that this person was a false prophet because they had no foundation knew not the Word of God they forged their head on on things that they thought that they believed and they didn't love God and what he was about. Every prophet loves God. Every prophet loves Israel. Every prophet has a humility about them. Even though sometimes they, they come to bring judgment, most of the time a prophet comes to bring blessing. Hear the name. Prophet. The prophet is sent to profit the body of Christ. Stay here to help you. A lot of a lot of those false prophets they come and they'll they'll be like a like a magician or like a soothsayer, somebody who comes to tell you fortune about how kind of riches you're gonna have. They tell you about how much kind of money they're gonna have and tell you how much riches you're gonna have and and they leave and everybody's happy, they get their prestige and um, they get excited about what um, life is bringing them and they get excited about what life is bringing you or you do rather and they they learn the Word of God not you know 
and they're about just like the Antichrist when he comes it's going to be about the same thing he's going to be about pleasing the carnal nature of men this is how we're going to recognize the Antichrist when he shows up because he's going to be about pleasing the carnal nature of man you know in our government right now one of the big issues one side is about pleasing the carnal nature of man the other side is about holding on to the attributes of God everything that this nation is founded on is the attributes of God our Constitution is based on the attributes of God one side is wanting to destroy the Constitution the other side is going to preserve it with all that they are amen and of course you know which side I'm on I'm about preserving that which God has founded in our lives that, that has caused us to be blessed and the Bible tells us when we when we turn away from those things of God then uh, we are turned into destruction. The Bible literally says hell. Honey, what is her problem? Um, I, I heard a, a preacher on TV. He was preaching a good sermon. He was quoting a couple of verses there that I liked. And <laughs> she's throwing a wild fit. <laughs> and she, um, he, he, he was making a lot of sense in those verses. So I decided, I said, you know, it was on TV, it was, it was recording. And so I decided, hey, I'm going to run this back and write those verses down. And in this, give her that banana there, man. After I go into her And, <laughs> not really. And anyways, when uh, I begin to write those verses down, he had 105 verses that he quoted by memory, chapter and verse, and the verse itself. And he had a good foundation of the Word of God within him. You know, when we're when we are unfounded, man, we're like this child. We go, we run here and move to and fro back and forth and the Bible says that man that is tossed with ever wind of doctrine he says let not this in the book of James he says let not this man think he shall receive anything of the Lord amen yeah. so, so we can't receive if we're not founded we, God has to have a foundation to build you on amen you need this foundation of the memorization of the Word of God I've recently begun to, to do just that. I started memorizing a verse just the other day. It's Romans 3 and 31. It says, Do we then make void the law through faith? God forbid. Yea, we establish the law. And I'm, I'm surprised I remembered it that well um, because I just uh, memorized it here just a week or so ago. But anyways, I... Um, uh, I was able to use that verse the next day. An atheist came to me accusing, oh, once you get saved, you can do anything anyway, so what's it? I'm like, no, that's not what the Bible says. And I quoted that verse to it. And I was able to help sway the heart of an unbeliever because I had a good foundation of God in me. We all need this foundation of God, amen? We need it. We need it. It's life itself. It's life itself hidden within you. Psalms 119 verse 11 Thy word have I hid in my heart that I might not sin against you. Amen. Alrighty, God bless. Thank you for joining me. We'll see you next time. Another great message right here in Crossing the Middle Ministry.